is Mr. Freeze making a Hitman video? What is going on? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and in this video we will be doing a Sarajevo 6 contract. Now last year my very first video was uh, the Sarajevo 6 contract in Paris. The, the target's name was the director and the challenge was lights out in a promising career. Now I'm redoing that because that video was 22 minutes long, it's terrible and I can do a lot better than that. So I'm going to redo that a lot better and a lot faster. If you don't know what the Sarajevo 6 is, it's uh, 6 uh, exclusive contracts to PS4 and they're basically mini elusive targets really, uh, but they have their own briefing and you can actually see them on uh, on the mini map and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you all the briefing and I'll be right back after the briefing. The agency has been contracted to eliminate six individuals guilty of committing brutal war crimes during the siege of Sarajevo. As private military contractors for the Cicada Corporation, they are linked with mass killings of civilians, particularly the massacres at Markel and the extended sniper campaign. The notorious Sarajevo Six have managed to avoid the International Criminal Tribunal since the mid-1990s. Our client would now like an alternative fate to catch up with them. Opportunities for elimination will appear over the coming year in multiple locations across the globe. Your first target is Scott Sarno, Director of European Operations for Cicada. Sarno is rarely without a full military backup, so his attendance at the Sanguine Fashion Show will provide multiple opportunities to eliminate the target in a lower than normal security setting. Our client will provide full intelligence on the first target, March 11th. The agency will notify you as soon as the exact location of the remaining targets is ascertained. These targets are lethal, observant, and highly trained, but nothing you can't handle. Good luck, 47. So just in case you were wondering about the original video, I'll leave that in the description below. But for this contract, we will be starting undercover in the dressing room. And we're going to bring along our breaching charge and the crystal ball. If you don't have the breaching charge or the crystal ball, it's fine. Just bring along your coin and any explosive that you have currently in your inventory. So from the start, we're going to grab the coin next to the diorama and put the coin into the diorama around the back. Sebastian Sato is going to get distracted by this. He is the fashion designer. He's going to go a little bit crazy. And he's going to want a sip of that lovely, jubbly, bubbly champagne. And once he's done that, he's going to go outside and uh, try and take a cigarette. I do say try, is because we're not going to let him do that. We're actually going to take him out, take him out of the situation, take him out of the level. The reason why we need to knock him out and put him away is because, you know, if we don't do that, the director's not going to come downstairs and he's not going to go on the stage. At least, I don't think he will, anyway. But I do know for a fact this triggers him coming down the stairs, so... Make sure you just follow him from behind here, and we're just going to subdue him behind this little wall so we don't get spotted uh, subduing him. I'm going to dump him in the conveniently placed crate right next to us. Once we've done that, we're going to go upstairs now, all the way up to the second floor to the auction. We can use the pipe that's just out outside. The only thing you need to watch out for is the patrolling guards that are outside. But if you follow me up to, up to this point, you shouldn't have to worry about them. We're not trespassing anyway in this disguise. You shouldn't have to worry too much, but obviously it's a little bit suspicious climbing a big long green pipe. That's just outside the, the building. Uh, it does look a little bit weird, but, you know, that's what we're doing. And finally, once we get to the top of the pipe, we're going to take out the bodyguard that's just up there near the, on the balcony. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be able to make it a phone call, and we're not going to let him finish that, or even start the phone call, actually. And if you don't have a crystal ball, you don't need to worry about that. You can just go ahead and subdue him if you want to. But we're going to throw a crystal ball just because we have it. Look, lovely trajectory right there. We're going to grab the disguise right there. And because we threw the crystal ball, it's, someone's going to hear it and they're going to have to investigate. And the only way to stop him from coming over and continuing that investigation is just bumping into him. That will uh, just interrupt his chain of events. Stop him in his tracks and he'll go back to what he was doing before. And pretending to drink from his glass of champagne. Or what the hell are you doing outside? I don't know. Anyway, once we've come into Dahlia's bathroom, we're just going to climb onto this uh, light rig thing. I don't know what it's called. The support beams and shit. And uh, we're going to climb onto this thing and put the bridge charges on the winch that's right in the middle. 
Like I said, if you don't have the uh, bridge charge, you can go and use any explosive you got, as long as it's not a proximity, of course. And uh, you should be able to explode it. No problem. You are going to kill non-targets anyway with this challenge, which is really disappointing. But the director, unfortunately, doesn't go on the stage by himself. And when you drop the light rig, it's random how many people, how many non-targets, I to say, uh, you, uh, you actually kill. So you won't get a silent assassin for this, but that's just how this challenge is, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to go back outside now. Make sure you put your thing away, the remote away, just in case you explode it early. We don't want that. We're going to put the stylist disguise back on because it, it's less enforcers downstairs to deal with. If you uh, if you use the bodyguard disguise, there's a few enforcers around. And just in case, just in case, you may as well put the stylist disguise back on. Because it's pretty much, you can get anywhere downstairs with this on. So once we've done that now, we're just going to head straight to where the stage is. And we're going to wait for Scott Sano, the director's to get into position as you can see there he's just coming down the stairs so he's going to be coming onto the stage momentarily and that's when we're going to explode it and we're going to watch it all happen you can wait at the exit if you want to but i chose to just watch it you know it's a lot faster than what i did before again like you said like i said if you are interested to see how i did it initially my very first video on hitman i'll leave that link in the description but uh, i'm going to skip to the point where he actually comes on the stage it does take about a minute or so so you'll know when he's about to come on stage when you hear, you'll see the big red light and everyone goes, <gasps> so everyone's coming, coming around in shock. So the director will come on stage and that's when we're going to pull out the remote and explode it. Everyone's going to run around in panic. I'm just going to watch like a badass right there. There was someone going to get a little bit suspicious. I don't know why, but we're just going to run straight to the exit now. And that will complete this challenge. Like I said, it's a lot faster than what I did before. Um, I think I went through the hassle of emetic poisoning Sebastian Sato. I'm not completely sure now. I don't remember too much of it. Obviously, I was talking complete nonsense in that video. I didn't know what I was really doing. But we did it anyway, and we got the challenge done. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel, by the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.